This is episode 43 of the Podcraft Beer Show. Today we try four very different styles of craft beer from Pure Project. Hit it, Charlie! This is the Podcraft Beer Show. I'm your host, Chris. Got your other host, Charlie. Guess what? We're having fun today. Fun. Mandatory fun. We got tech guy, Steve. Hello. We got an airplane flying over. Hello. It's great. Just a security. Yep. There it is. So we got uh, we got some local beers here today, guys. We got uh, uh, Pure Project. Pure Project. Pure. Out of uh, Pure numerous locations. Project. Miramar, Carlsbad. Balboa. Vista. Double Park downtown. There it is. So the uh, so today we got uh, four beers, Charlie. I think first, uh, what are you starting off with? A uh, murky double, did you say? A little collaboration from Equilibrium. Equilibrium. So the uh, this is uh, oh, man, that smells good. Homeos, uh, homeos oh desks. my goodness, look is at that! that. Right? Oh, that's a nice color. It's like a milky shake. shake. So we have uh, um, Pure Project uh, Equilibrium uh, collab. Imperial Double uh, New England. Oh. Together with EQ, uh, we introduce uh, homeost- uh, homeostasis. Uh, this murky double IPA features a global bouquet of Strata, Rewaka, Nelson, uh, and Cashmere hops. As a result, the aromas of strawberry, pineapple, honeysuckle har- harmonize with the flavors of juicy orange and dried mango. Inspired by Equilibrium's ethos to balance drinkability with massive flavor, this creamy and medium full boiled brew certainly delivers. Smells pillowy soft. Does it? It's got an amazing color. Yeah. Looks like orange juice. Oh, gosh, that smells good. It sure does. It's got a... I think I could drink some of these. Mm. Uh, I'm crazy oh. for hazy. Yum. Mm. Yeah, that's uh, that's super tasty. That's a nice uh, <laughs> nice end of the, uh, the weekend. That was a late addition, Steve. I, know. I think we started out right. Good call. Mmm. Mmm. This I might really, have a couple of those in my fridge. You probably do. I think I, I think I got that from you. Probably. You went down there to procure I, the rest of these, a couple of these bottles, and uh, you came with. Um, I don't know if I've had it yet. Came with that. Doesn't taste like I've had it because mm-hmm. it's good, and I would have remembered that. That is really good. Mm. Pure is doing it. They they certainly made yeah, some really wow, really good nice. beer. Wow. I, I would agree. Ooh. I'm a fan. That's pretty juicy. Yeah, it's soft. Super mm. soft on the palate. 8.6. Yeah. Danger, Will Robinson. Be careful with those big boys. That'll take you out. A couple of those will take you right out of the ballpark. Embrace the Merc. Yeah. That's a great name. It's like a camo. Yeah. Camo cosmic. Oh, it looks like some sort of robot Yeah, thing it does a little bit there. like a face. It's pretty wild. You could probably just spend some time just studying this can. Yeah. There's probably a son- ton of secret messages. Like there. a hat like that. Green and beige and brown and black. I like it. No, yeah, that's that's pretty tasty. For we sure. We should have just done a six-pack of these. Would have been easier. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Two a piece. Super Perfect. juicy little... Uh, Wow. IPA. You could have Uber scootered. Yes. Do they have an Uber scooter? No. I don't think they do. No. No. Nope. Good business idea. Anywho, I like it. I'll drink it. Hey. That's really good. No, that was good. Yeah, I think a lot of, uh, um, excuse me, guys. I thought I was going to sneeze. I'm trying not to sneeze right oh, in my mic. Into the microphone. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Hey, It'll it's blow right. the little booger off the top there. Yeah, ha. Um, yeah, no, that was that was super tasty. I, I was a big fan of that. I um, I wish we had more. You you just may. I'll have to look around in there. So limited release, of course. It's, it's a collab, right? Yeah, yeah. This came out like right about, I, I believe it came out about a month ago. Already, I think the the canning price price says on the bottom of the can, but yeah, it was just a a limited release. Uh, they do, um, I think they release every other. Is it every other week they do a can release? Mm. I think it's. I, a, I see. I keep getting emails from them every week, but maybe that's just because they're just trying to connect. But maybe I, 
I'm not paying enough attention because I don't even remember seeing that in, um, the, in the photos. I, I get, uh, so I get the, um, the emails from them, like the seller syndicate releases. So they, mm. um, but I get so many beer releases. Like I haven't been down there for their can release in forever. Cause you can't, I don't know. I don't think you can order it online. You could get down there all day. It's really, I really don't have an excuse cause there's like a location everywhere in town. Ah. There's one in Vista, Carlsbad. Yeah. I don't know if the Vista one's open yet, but Balboa park. Um, and you have all day to swing in as a member to, to get their cans. But I almost went into their day today on the way home from, I was up in North County. They had can release today? Yesterday. Yeah. I'm sure there would have been a few stragglers available. Yeah, more than likely. Speaking of which, I'm, uh, I got their Modern Times coffee right here. They're, uh, is that what you're sipping on? The uh, pure, pure? The Pure Modern Times. The Lost, what is it? The Lost Voyage, I think. The Barrel Age. Mm. I think... Uh, I'm a Moster member, so that's what I'm purchasing right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is good. You're missing out. No, I don't doubt that it's not good. Super good. I, I think the one I'm I'm uh, rocking right now is pancakes. Oh, is that pretty good? Oh gosh, it's good. So this is Lost Board, uh, Lost Voyage, uh, Barrel Aged Columbia, Heriberto. So this uh, this coffee beans right here were. Um, um, oh, so this is, these beans were aged in the, uh, this, this coffee was aged in the Weller, uh, bourbon barrels okay. that held that legend of the lost, uh, voyage. This is okay. the last bottle that we're going to get a little, oh, yeah. we'll see nice chocolatey notes. I'm going to crack into this euphoric double peaches from, Ooh, pure project. Yikes, man. That smells very good. It's got a lot of peachy going on there. Oh, look at the color. Unexpected. Look at that. Look at that's there. Good. That's good. Thanks, Charlie. There you go, Steve. Jump into that bottle. Let's explain this one. Let me hear your read up. Should we see what uh, what they got to say uh, for themselves here? It would be appropriate. We're going to let them speak for themselves, I guess. Yeah, so uh, they write this up... Uh, uh, euphoric is uh, is their take on American wild ales. Uh, they say they added double the amount of organic peaches into this batch and they aged it in a formerly uh, uh, Pinot Noir French oak barrel from Napa Valley. Uh, this unique beer uh, will delight the senses with flavors and aromas of juicy peaches, candied lemons, and oak with a bit of funk. Expect a very soft acidity and creamy mouthfeel. Our head brewer Winslow uh, spent years creating a proprietary yeast strain specifically for this beer. It provides both the initial funk and the lingering bite that will make you remember the entire experience as purely euphoric. That's what I'm getting. Peaches, candied lemons, and oak. Definitely smell that. Uh, those peaches smell really, really strong in there. I'm going to take a second whiff, though, and it, you smell the, the sweet lemons, man, like the candied lemons. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Ooh. Wow. That's tasty. Yeah, it's, like I a, have a bottle of this. I'm excited. You got about a couple it. of those, I think. Wow. Ooh, gosh, that's going to be good again and again. Yeah, I, I think, you know, like when you smell it, like I smell a lot of peaches, right? I was expecting like a lot of peaches, but there's um, the peaches are a lot stronger on the nose than I think than you get like on the taste. Mine's just the opposite of that. Yeah. Yeah, I can smell them, but I mean, it's like doubled up on the taste. Wow. It's almost like there's this smoothing of it, you know, once it, it's, it's tart and then it just immediately dissipates and you taste all the peaches and lemons in there, in my opinion. What do you think? I like it. I, I'm having trouble picking out the peaches though. Aren't yeah, you? I think so it's, it's more it's, lemony. I think it, I, you, I, I mean, I, they, they smell super, super strong, but I, I just don't think they come across as strongly as you would expect just based on the smell. Like I I'm expect it to them, be though. a, uh, I get them on the taste just a little. I'm yeah. I, I, I really like it. I, I don't think it matters whether you can. No, it's taste certainly. What it says on, it's it's a great a combination. I think this of that, is, uh, the peaches, I, that little lemon flavor, you know, that, that little oak. This is one of the best sours I've had. Or wild, I guess it is. It's not actually a sour, but it is delicious. And there's little Pop Tarts in there. You see those? Yep. Little floaties in there. Yeah. Little Bats floaties. 
But I'm, they're. I'm excited because this is like the first batch one beer I've ever bought for you. Yeah. Guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they make a bunch of like. Uh, yeah, they're. Um, I will take another little. That's a really really good beer. Yeah, we should drink more. We should get a bigger <laughs> bottle. So the um, these were just their their releases oh. a month ago, or I think. Yeah. Did you that see that? I yeah. dropped a frog in there, man. That's a big old chunk of something, man. Big old peach chunk. Wow. Yeah. So they do a lot of uh, um, a lot of different renditions of, of euphoric, yeah. which um, I think is probably um, one of my probably favorite. I think there's a couple of older bottles sitting around here somewhere. But yeah, no, it's a great. Uh, I love that yeast in there. That's super tasty. I'm a fan. Okay, did we talk about last last episode? Did we talk about um, Burning Beard's uh, anniversary? We talked no, about you getting ready to go. go. Yeah, yeah I think. you guys are you guys were going, or one of you was going. Well, somebody one one of us went. Okay, it wasn't me. It I wasn't didn't me. see <laughs> I didn't see Chris there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But uh, uh, did I tell you about uh, Jeff's uh, wild? Uh, ESB, Wild Banksy? No. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, that's gonna. Is yeah. that gonna hurt, Steve? <laughs> I apologize, guys. No, that's all right. We should have. There's no cough button. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the uh, tell me about this. Uh, say this again here. Jeff was, uh... brewed up a batch of Banksy Wild Ale, Wild ESB. It was phenomenal. Let me tell you, I thought that was the best thing he's ever made over there. To be honest with you. And you know I'm a huge fan of New Damage and the uh, Piper at the Gates of Fog, uh -huh. and then Brain what was it Brain Box is another hazy they have that was phenomenal. But you mix those two together, you get Brain Damage, Brain <laughs> Damage or Brain Box and Brain New Damage together, you get Brain Damage. Mm. It's a it was super tasty, you know, two hazies together, it was magnificent. But I'm telling you, he came over and he goes, "Have you tried that Banksy?" And I'm like, where is it? And he goes, it's right behind you here. And I went, I'll be right back. And I go over there and absolutely kicked my face into the turf, man. It was, it was pretty good, huh? It was amazing. They was still going, have it on tap? I don't know. I think it was a, I, I don't think so. Yeah. But I was just so excited when I tasted that. And wow. And he was explaining how he, you know, dumped it into the cool ship and all. I'm just like, I'm the jaw dropping, huh? You know, wow, it was super exciting. Yeah. It was just, oh, it was so good. I mean, wild ales are awesome. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's just something about them that's, it's just unique and different and tasty and fun all at the same time. And just to have Banksy, right? Mm -hmm. you know, I was super excited about it, man. Super pumped up. I drank, I drank a, a pint of it or as much as they give me, I guess. And then, uh. You know, there was so much, so much, so many other beers there to drink. I was trying to help myself to all of it, but uh, it was unsuccessful once again. So um, was there a lot of people there? Yeah, there's quite a few, probably about 200 people. Was there that, was there that many? Yeah. I know. I mean, I guess it was all like the delinquents and everybody mm -hmm. can do a plus one, right? It was, but it was all over outside front, outside back, right? No, no front. Oh, there was Just nothing. Inside okay. or outside back. They had the bands. Mm -hmm. Um, they had all the, um, you know, all the same stations like they would for anything else, and uh, proof I was there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm showing them a picture of me and Mike, <laughs> but uh, you know I've only missed one of them, so, and we it was uh, bring your own mug. So the 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 people who went to the very first one brought those bigger mugs. Yeah. Right. You know, and uh, Josh and I forgot that it was bring your own mug and uh we so you had to drink miniature cups they gave us mugs anyways like the burning beard ones or yeah, whatever. yeah they're nice the the delinquent they're mug nice. I bet. yeah they're very nice mugs yeah i saw everybody in there when you had told me like bring your own mug i'm like i, I actually have a uh i was given you know charlie sent me a picture and i was like hey thanks for the invite <laughs> and i was like oh that's a nice invite you sent me right no but i was telling him he could come anytime because mike i already spoke to mike and mike said i'm sure we can probably get him in and yeah. he winked at me. So. And then I, uh, I didn't go. I didn't because I, I like I expected me to go out there and Charlie and everybody to be like, <laughs> <laughs> can't come in. <laughs> no, it's members only. 
Uh, and I was stuck standing outside. No, you didn't think that. No, I didn't think that. You I had other something. things going on. I did have other things going on. I was working in my yard. Yeah, you had to mow the back 40. I, 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 had I, to plant them uh, green beans before it got crazy. Exactly. Anywho, delicious. No, Very it looked good. like a really good time. I was trying to get out there this fun. week for lunch. But uh, this, you fork double peaches. Highly advise somebody, if there's any of these left, I may go up there tomorrow. Get some more. <laughs> I'm a glutton for punishment. It's totally what you yeah. don't need. <laughs> yeah, I, I have plenty of room. What are you talking about? Very All well. Right. Are we on to the next? Can be. That was uh, no, that was phenomenal. I, I was yeah. a fan of that. That thing, that thing was delish. Mm. Okay, this next one is a purdy bottle. Unfathomed depths. Um, Imperial Stout with coffee, cocoa, coconut, and vanilla. Mm. And so you said your coffee was was roasted no, it's for the from the next uh, one, the Lost uh, Voyage. Uh, okay. um, but this is this is a modern times um, uh, pure collab mm -hmm. right here, right? <laughs> um, and that coffee, I believe, is modern times and pure. Because okay. I actually got the coffee. I missed the. I missed. The release for the coffee at Pier, but this um, is syrupy. Then I was actually able to get it through. Uh, Ooh, it's um, gonna be good. Through the cellar or through um, Modern Times. So it says they teamed up with Modern Times to bring an imperial stout of immense proportions. Uh, notes of Modern Times Columbia Direct Trade uh, Dark Roast Coffee emerge from the depths of this jet black blue along or brew, alongside aromas of toasted coconut, caramel fudge, and marzipan. Thanks to the addition of organic. Uh, Ghanaian co uh, cocoa, cocoa, cacao, 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 cocoa, uh, organic Sri Lankan coconut and organic Tahitian vanilla beans. Expect decadent flavors of coconut macaroons, German chocolate cake, and mocha to, uh, uh, emanate through the velvety mouthfeel and send your taste buds to new depths. Man, it smells great. I'm I'm interested in what you have to say before I take a sip of it. So jump on there. Yeah. Yeah, I want to yep. hear what you got to say. Sniff it up, taste it, and let me know, and then I'll jump in. Because I'm just really, enjoying really good. the smell right now. No, yeah, it smells phenomenal. Wow. Whoa. Mm, lots of coconut in there, huh? Really? I think lots of coconut, some vanilla. Okay, what do you say, Steve? That's really good. Okay, I'm jumping in. Here we go. I can almost... Taste the matzipan. Yeah. Wow. Oh man. Tastes like an almond joy bar. That's really, really good. Yeah, wow. Doesn't it? Yeah, I think um Ooh, I love the German chocolate cake too. Yeah. No, that that certainly that um like the, the chocolate brownie, like um uh, like German chocolate cake, I think is a uh, good uh <laughs> Yeah. yeah, with that I coconut topping. That. Yeah, for sure. Mixed in with the chocolate icing. That's really good. That, um, and it is barrel aged, right? I don't think so. I thought it, cause I thought it? it was. Doesn't say. Doesn't say? I, I would think they would say. It would just have a big stamped BA on it, wouldn't it? <laughs> mm -hmm. no. It just says Imperial Stout mm. with adjuncts. I like adjuncts. Wow. Hey, another batch number one. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Two in one show, Steve. It's amazing. No, that's a really, really good beer right there. Wow. I, uh, I'm a fan of that. Wow, they just really turned it up a notch. Yeah, that I is think. just. And we had, you know, I I think it might be. Uh, I mean, because Pure makes great stouts. We've had good stouts from them, but this I think it's on a little bit higher level. You know, I mean, it, it, it's got that like. Modern, Modern times. times with their vanilla and yeah. coconut, you know, like that's, I mean, that, that's what that tastes like. I, I think, think they should yeah. do all their stouts with Modern Times from now on. Yeah, that's just like fudge, coconut fudge. Mm. I mean, it's super chocolatey. I'm telling you, it's like an Almond Joy bar, to be honest with you. Yeah, no, there's definitely like that coconut and the chocolate. I don't even, there's no almond. almonds in there, but I mean, I could taste like a nutty, well, coconut. Yeah. 
Maybe that's it. But gosh, the Mounds nice. Bar is that the one that doesn't have? Is that like the Almond Joy without uh, yeah, without almonds? The, is the yeah, Mounds Bar? I think that's what it is. Oh, yeah. Nobody, yeah, like nobody knows. Nobody eats it. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. Wow, that's, that's a good beer, though. Yeah, wow. well played, Steve. Yeah, is that yours? Yeah. Dang, Steve, Steve came through. Look at him, man. He's a stout. Set. Next thing you know, he'd be bringing sours over here and knocking us I out of the park. That one's mine, too. Oh, he did. He did. Holy cow. Steve, there's none left of this. I know. Yeah. <laughs> that was really, really tasty. Uh, I'm a fan. Gosh. We did you know, it. I've been trying to... Um, so I have a couple of coworkers that I... Uh, you know, one of my coworkers likes a good stout. I think when he thinks stout, you know, he thinks like Guinness. He's totally not, mm -hmm. a, uh -oh. not a coffee... Uh, guy, you know, he's, he doesn't want a coffee stout. He's like, I hate, you know, he's like, I don't care what it takes. He doesn't want coffee, so he doesn't want any coffee in his stout. He doesn't want anything bourbon barrel aged, right? Like, so mm. he's like, uh, he, just, he just wants a good stout. So I've been trying to, like, um, put together some stouts for these, these coworkers of mine, you know, while they're, um, but I, I think I was, I was going through my, my fridge today and I found a four pack of the Modern Times, um, is it Beastmaster where they did the different, um, the different vanillas? Mm. Where they did like mm. this one has Mexican vanilla. This one oh, has wow. you know, so it's the same base beer. And right. then they did four different types of uh -huh. vanilla, and then put the um, each can, each twelve ounce can has a different. Which is like you know, I mean, if you like stouts, like that's a phenomenal stout. Yeah. Like vanilla, if you're gonna look at an adjunct, that's probably the easiest adjunct to drink, right? Like smoothest. Mm -hmm. Like I, um, yeah, I think that's what I'll. Uh, it's probably a good. Uh, been trying to go through you know i gotta gotta get rid of some of these beers mm -hmm. well do? i think that the russian imperial stout we had last week because that doesn't have that didn't have anything in it right? that's right yeah that's right yeah no it was straight like there yeah. was nothing yeah in the um the uh I'm trying to think of the name of the brewery outer outer range that was really yeah. really good yeah. i've never heard of them yeah <laughs> never been never yeah been no there. that was really really good yeah that's what i think they he wants more of you know, um, wow. Vice, uh, big fan. Like I want more of this. In the in my warm, life. the warm. Yeah, <laughs> warm I want more of it. this in my pure. Wow, because you get it in all the modern times beers, but I think uh, Pure Project made a good decision to collab up on this bad boy. Mm. What kind of beers you guys drink this week? I had a Pilsner. You did? From who? I did. From um, the Booze Brothers. Oh, yeah. I saw you post that. Yeah. So uh, it's called the Warish Lager. Check. Premium Lager. So why is it a Pilsner if it's a premium well, Lager? Well, I guess I said the wrong words. Sorry. <laughs> uh, really, really good, though. Um, shout out to the Fraser Farm guy. So I got his name. His first name's David. Yeah. Yeah, so he's he, the guy who's been buying all the beer and putting it in. For oh, right time, on. So. I, you know, I was over there not that uh, last week and a half ago, and I, I looked at their, their beer section. They have a really good beer section. Yeah. The so, Fraser Farm. Is and, that uh, the one that's right here? Yeah. 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 I've and been through there. Yeah, so Christy, I just, she said, hey, I'm going to Fraser Farms. I said, oh, Pilsner. And, yeah. And um, she brought and you a lager. No, she brought, yeah, but <laughs> he picked this one out Fire. on his own. So <laughs> yeah. he walked up and just like, he's like oh, here you go. Here you go. And so... It'd be great. Yeah. No, I've heard I've heard good things about those guys, that brewery. Yeah. Uh, the Davises love it. Yeah. Yeah. I um. I had uh, and probably the the first hazy that really like turned me on to like San Diego hazy. Uh, Dinosaur World came mm. out like a month ago or so from. Uh, I got a can of that in. There. Oh, do you? Yeah. Um, from uh, uh, Modern Times. So the. This week, the uh, the guy that had that had bought me those uh, the four pack dropped it off, and it's so that beer is so good. Yeah, I mean it's like so I, I like had a can of that, and then I'm uh, I'm like man, I was like I'm gonna have another I'm gonna have another beer, like I'm gonna have another can of that, and yeah. then um, like the next day I was like I'm gonna have a beer, like I'm that gonna have so a can good. of that, and then I'm like <laughs> oh, I only got a can left, <laughs> so I was like holding fun. out. <laughs> like it's rare that like I'll like you know like. Two have, beers of the same beer. Yeah, yeah, like back to back. You know, uh, yeah. that I'm like, that's so that good. Is, and it's like yeah. 8.7. That's yeah, telling, though. It's, it's a double. so good. Yeah. Like, I, like, I, Smooth. yeah, I, I would have, uh, if I wasn't coming over here today, that's what I would have had. Uh, as soon as, you know, as soon as work was done, I would have been on my patio with, uh, 
Mm-hmm. It's. I mean, that's a phenomenal beer. Have I'll you split had that it? one no. with you. Oh, I got 60, one for you. I got one for you. <laughs> it's good. It's really, really good. I'm a fan. So, what, and you had the you had the logger, right? The logger. You Check, had the dinosaur Check, world. Dinosaur world. Yep. Okay, I had a pilsner, an actual pilsner, mm-hmm. from Lost Abbey, and it was their Czech pilsner? I think it was. White can. So, what's really, the yeah. difference between a Czech logger and a Czech pilsner? I don't know. I'm, because I had a Czech p- lager and you had a Czech pilsner. I've never heard of a Czech lager. I've heard well, of that's Czech why, pilsner. That's why I think he. That's why he, I think he picked it because he thought it was a pilsner. I'm sure it's. They're both good. Mm-hmm. They're both good. Uh, but uh, the pilsner, if you can make a great pilsner and a great lager, I want to go drink at that. Mm-hmm. Oh, hey, here's the deal. So a pilsner is a lager, but not all lagers are ah, pilsners. Mm-hmm. Doom, doom. A lager is a type of beer conditioned with low temperatures. Lagers can be yellow, pale, uh, uh, yellow, pale, amber, or dark. Pilsner is a pale lager and is most li- widely consumed uh, commercial available beer. Mm-hmm. So they're like... Um, so they'd throw like Budweiser and Coors and all that sort of okay. stuff in the same bucket. Yeah, but, yeah, right, right, right. Lagers like cold yeah, filter, yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, right. like the, the Rolling whole, Rock. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Um yeah, that's a really good beer. I know what you're talking about. It's got the picture of the uh, uh, the cross it from on Josh it. or what? I don't know. I know. I think I picked it at Valley Farms. Oh, they do have it at Valley mm-hmm. Farms. Yeah. They have a, speaking of Lost Abbey, this you haven't next, been there, have you? I have not. Valley Farms that's got the spot. best beer selection in yeah. East County, in my yeah. opinion. They have a they have a really good yeah. selection. I mean, really if brilliant. you can go down there and the other half is on their shelf, right. nobody else has other half here in this in this area. Nobody. Not even bottle craft usually. Maybe every once in a great while. I think at the same time, if they're gonna have it, then you know they'll, they'll have it down there. Really? No, no. She she goes. I get random deliveries. Yeah. Mm. So and I was and I seriously they only let you buy one can at a time. So I brought my daughter down there and she <laughs> bought all of them. You're on the parking lot. And then lot I told the neighbor, <laughs> and then I went down with the neighbor again and then bought. <laughs> Every one of those cans again, so I got those all stacked up in a line. Now here. we know why nobody else has. <laughs> exactly, that's why they have one. That's, that's only reason. three, and who, you know what? The people that don't even know they're there shouldn't be allowed to buy them. <laughs> yeah, I, I go to Valley Farms probably three times. That's like the spot I go to if we're if that's our like our local. Yeah, market. they have everything. They do, and like if you ever go to like, you know, my other option is like a big box, uh, like a where you're gonna wait and wait and wait. There, there's a there's Smart a big and store final. Here. There's a there's a there's like an Albertsons mm. like around. Uh, yeah, it's ridiculous. Like mm. you'll spend half your lunch waiting in line, you know. Mm. So I'm like, uh, at Valley Farms, a little bit more expensive, maybe better quality meat for oh, sure. Absolutely. Oh yeah. Oh, they have they have uh, Black Rifle coffee there if you if you know you're in need. Um, they have uh, just fresh stuff that they make in the in the fridge and everything. Gosh, it's just magnetic i mean every time i go by there i gotta pull in my car makes an immediate left turn i stopped over there for uh when i was going to get my um my vaccination the other day when i was on uh when i was on lunch i swung uh swung in there and got some uh seared ahi i knew i was gonna Ooh. have like 15 minutes to hang out nice got choice. my shot hung out in the little girl spot ate me some seared ahi wow we're gonna have to break into this doggone bottle oh it's got wax Got to use the wax cutter. I want to wax poetically right here. So we're going to move off the pure to a different... This, this is, is pure as pure. well. Oh, it is? So this is uh, Pure wow. Project and uh, Barreled Souls uh, Brewing. It's a collab. It's the, um, they said this is their first seller syndicate release of the 2021. It's going to be a minute. So their um, <laughs> seller syndicate is their beer club. The uh, They say this beer... Here we um, go. It's a transatlantic experience like no other. Insp- uh, inspired by the 1851 recipe used for a rescue expedition into the Arctic Circle, we initially aged the King of Burtis ales in tawny port barrels with our friends at Barreled Souls mm. Brewery to create a beer whose flavors echoed sticky toffee pudding, sun-dried raisins, and caramelized honey. Uh, after aging in port barrels, we added a transatlantic twist and transferred the beer into freshly emptied Weller bourbon barrels from Kentucky. A uh, truly unique double barrel experience that sets the sense of sailing with decadent toffee, fruit roll, warming spices, and toasted oak characters. So this is a uh, an old ale. Um, 
you know, with barreled souls and, uh, and pure project. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say I've never smelled anything like this. Yeah. Well, I figure, you know, it's probably not like a beer. I mean, I wasn't around popping bottles in 1856 mm -hmm. or 1851. Right. This is this is somebody that <laughs> is into some real, real old school stuff. If this is what their their go to is, I I don't know. I, Let's find out. I think you better rinse yeah, that or yeah. something because Charlie this, doesn't want me to taint it with the yeah. uh, with the, that beautiful stout we just the drank. lacing from my stout. I don't know. Do it's just, it's a harsh nose, mm -hmm. man. It's a sharp, sharp nose on it. Okay, I'm going to go. Oh, my. It looks dark. It is. So what style is it again? <laughs> it's uh, like an old ale. <laughs> okay. So I was just scrolling down through. Uh, yeah. uh, Untapped. <laughs> through Untapped. And, <laughs> and like, this was what I read. Uh, this is like Marvin with his review. Uh, he says, like, kissing a woman from a nursing home right around medicine time. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try it. Marvin, thanks for the laughs. Checking in from the convalescent home. Oh, wow. Cut. Exit. I can't drink that. That's, uh, that was, you know, I... It's not really, uh, you know, probably doesn't fall in with the speed of, of what we normally drink over here, which is more adjunct. I don't uh, think it falls in the na the near county. I mean, that is like way off. I definitely, man. you know, like that 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 smell of toffee, like the the dry fruits, leather, and, the and uh, smells not bad. No, it's, it's totally like not. a bourbon fruit cake. Caramel, man. <laughs> like there's certainly like that Weller barrel in there, the Tawny Port prior to that. Tawny Port, yeah. I don't know. I've never had Weller, so I don't know. So I, wow, that just killed my taste buds. Wow. Man. So you definitely taste like the the toffee and the raisins. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's what it is. It's like a raisin sort of. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. No, they uh, almost prune like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is right. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> like medicine -y the, prune. <laughs> the prune juice of beers. Yeah. That's gonna sell. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, I would say. Uh, gosh. I'm sorry. You know, I, I think. I, I, you know, I don't know enough about the style, right? Like, I can't say that it's not drinkable. It, um, yeah, it's tasteable, but that's all you're going to want to do to it. But not a big fan of that whole... Uh, you better uh, have, like, 30 people to share that little 500 mil bottle. Because... <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I made a really tiny pour. You'll be able to see it in the pictures, and I don't think I'm going to You could probably fill it up so you could show the yeah, color. Yeah, <laughs> do this. Because <laughs> I am not going to go that route there, yeah. boss. Yeah, Whew, that could damage me for weeks. I think. <laughs> just put you, yeah, just put you out of the. Uh... I don't know how I'd recover. Yeah, well, so, so you know what? I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna jump to that next bot and next can. Oh, no, yeah. I think we're done. Mm. Yeah, I think uh, I'm gonna wrap it up. Charlie's gonna have him. I'm gonna a crack me a can. Yeah, he can have as many as he party wants. Party so. <laughs> so to to to, to recap, didn't here come here quick. to watch. So we started off with uh, homeostasis, the uh, uh, collab, the, the double. Um, uh, the the double IPA, uh, hazy murky murky IPA from Pure Pure, Pure. Project and uh, EQ. Yeah, uh, we followed that up with Euphoric uh, Double Peaches. Was awesome. Uh, and Very then good. hit the stout from uh, from Pure Project and Magnificent. Modern Times. What was the name of that one, Steve? That was Unfathomed Depths. Unfathomed Depths and. Uh, the beer that Charlie wishes would have been uh, lost on the voyage. Uh, <laughs> the legend of the lost voyage. You know what? If, you know, if I had to drink that. I, switch, uh, I think I switched the wine. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you wouldn't be drinking. <laughs> I just, I couldn't do it. I mean, that is just super rich and grisly, man. It was hard to taste. I mean, even the taste of it was just. The smell, nothing like, and mm. I'll tell you what, as a young man, I would drink the foulest beer that you could drink. There's a beer out there, and I'm sure it's still around somewhere. It was called EKU 28. It was the highest alcohol content mm. beer in the world at the time. And I was drinking that stuff, and that and Guinness were my two beers. And uh, this is no match to those. <laughs> 
no match. So. Yeah. Well, you're right, Chris. Yeah, I didn't think. Yeah, we're, we're, yeah. When Steve's like, yeah. I'm like, oh, I don't know if uh, three point two five. Yeah. I'm yeah. glad we got to uh, run through it. Then, yeah. You know, definitely. We tried it. Yeah. We can at least check it in. We hey, can. And you know what? God bless people that are <laughs> interested in drinking that stuff, yeah. man. Because that is a unique taste. Yeah, those women that like that are more Viking than I am. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. they're. Uh, yeah, they're that's what I imagine is old Viking people, you know, <laughs> yeah. on a boat. Just scrolling like, that down. Yeah, it's really cold. It's Drinking like, out of a horn. Right. <laughs> yeah. Just like the, uh, I don't know. That's a tough person that's swallowing that all. Yeah, for sure. No, that was, uh, I'd say, so what was your guys' favorite beer out of uh, um, well, the three? I think we, uh, I can guess which I'm one I have to go it. with the wild ale, for sure. You're on the wild? Yeah, yeah. The peach, really good. The I, would get, I would get, I would drink that again. Yeah. For sure. The stout was good, but yeah, yeah, yeah. We have we have a lot of really really good stouts. <laughs> like it's stout, like our stout game is probably stronger than any other. I'd say that wild too. I think I would go with the euphoric double peaches there. I was super impressed with the taste and the smell. Uh, I'm gonna go with the stout. I Are think you? yeah, it's just been a, it's been a little while since I've uh, since I've had a, a a good stout. It's been a while since I've had a sour too, but the. Um, I think that stout just kind of hit me today. I think I, I was impressed with all three of them. I would probably rank them. Um, it'd be, I think, the stout followed by the euphoric, very, very close. Then the um, the IPA, I think, right behind there. It was a great, like, I think all three of them were, were phenomenal. Um, you know, we just... Uh, we missed on that last one. We should have drank four or five more beers and then got to the... <laughs> I don't know. No, I, uh, I thought three out of four ain't bad, yeah. you know? Not a bad call on that. I think we could we could safely say that was the worst beer we've had so yeah, far. Yeah, I think it. Yeah, yeah. well, it's <laughs> consensus. Yeah, as I far think. as as drinkable. Yeah, right. I mean, I've tasted beers that weren't really good yeah. that I could drink. Yeah, I can't drink that. Yeah, but it's we haven't had on the, on the show though. We yeah, no, we like haven't had anything that we're like. like yeah, oh, I can't. You know what drink we did? We had again. one that we were uh, like, gosh, oh, yeah, it was spoiled or whatever. But it was a couple years old, right? Like our expectation wasn't. Yeah, yeah. That but, was you know, the, I, didn't, uh, I didn't have too high expectations just because of the style. It's not some, It's something that I would like to drink. Like, I'd right. like to drink barley wines. But that's, like, what I envision is the way that I... Barley wines react. taste better than that. Yeah? We're yeah. going to find out. We're going to do a barley wine show. I had barley wines. That's I all I drank for a while. It was... I mean, when they're 14% alcohol, you can only drink a little bit of them or else you're unconscious at some point. Yeah. But, yeah, that's, that's some rich, dark... Thick, chocolatey there stuff. It there. Yeah, no, that's that. And it had raisins in it. I'm not a raisin. Definitely, man. definitely had the the toffee mm-hmm. raisin. So yeah. Well, there it is. I think uh, you know we uh, um, making great beers there at Pier, and uh, yeah, look forward to drinking some uh, uh, more beer, Charlie. I think. I'm, what beers are we going to be drinking soon? I mean, I would imagine we're going to be going modern times. We're going to be doing. Uh, I would like to do a, a bird Bergen Bergen Bergen. Yep. Now Steve's got me say Bergen now. No, no. <laughs> it's Bergen. We're going to do right? some Bergen and uh, what else? Uh, um, maybe some more uh, creative creature and uh, I. Uh, what's this? Uh, kept catch. Catch. catch, yeah, catch. Catch is down at Valley Farms. We should probably cover that. And I had, uh, a, I had a Mexican lager. I mean, really good. Pretty good. Mm-hmm. Let's let's. Uh, I'll grab some of those down there, and we can go through them. So I like it. Well, in the meantime, I'll be uh, finishing off that lost voyage. Yeah. Till next luck. time. Good luck. We'll be here for a week. Cheers. Cheers. Well, I sincerely hope you enjoyed today's show. If you'd like to subscribe to the show via your favorite podcast player app, then head over to thepodcraft.com and look for the subscribe links. You can also get all the links mentioned in this podcast, pictures of all the beers, and other good information at thepodcraft.com. The site also has links to send us email feedback and to connect with us on social media. In closing, please continue to recommend the Podcraft Beer Show to your craft beer friends and family members in your life. The more the merrier. Thank you so much for sharing your time and attention with us. For Chris and Charlie, this is Tech Guy Steve signing off for this week's The Podcraft Beer Show. 
Have a great rest of your day. The PodCraft Show is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution, Share Alike 4.0 International. All rights reserved 2020 through 2021. The show is produced by AztecMedia.net. If you have questions, then please email thepodcraftpodcast at gmail.com. Fair use notice. Reference material and media have been placed within this medium for informational, educational, and discussion purposes only. In compliance with fair use criteria established in Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. It should also be noted that the opinions expressed on this podcast are those of the participants and are not endorsed by the participants' previous, current, or future employers or advertisers. You still here? It's over. Go home. Go.